Aaron Rodgers just manned up. Um, I do feel confident in things I say, and I do stand behind what I do. And I like to speak the truth, and I'm not a part of this, uh, you know, uh, woke uh, cancel culture that gets off on uh, trying to silence people all the time. Mm. All of that music to my ears, and I know that Aaron Rodgers in the past has played woke. He, he played the little BLM game like everybody else did because it, you'd get run out of the, the NFL or you'd be accused of being uh, racist if you're a white quarterback in the NFL and you didn't play woke and you didn't pretend like the whole Black Lives Matter thing is the most important thing in the world and that the, that the police are out here just trying to kill random black men, particularly if they're high on fentanyl. Aaron Rodgers just manned up. And we can thank Dave Chappelle for Aaron Rodgers manning up. Th that's what I believe. I, again, Aaron Rodgers hadn't said that, but I'm t if you go watch that interview, and I watched the entire Pat McAfee interview, it was crystal clear to me what has moved Aaron Rodgers. And he went out of his way. I mean, that was such a forced conversation because, again, him telling Chicago Bears fans, I own you and all that other stuff, it didn't have anything to do with that. There was no backlash. The mob didn't come after Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wanted to come on and wave a flag to everybody like, I ain't down with this woke cancel culture. He wanted to make that point. And I'm so proud of him. I'm so happy. I Hats off to Pat McAfee for giving him the platform. Hats off to Dave Chappelle for creating the space for men to come out of the closet and say what we really think. A lot of this stuff that's been going on is P-U-S-S-Y. See, I'm trying not to cuss, but it is. That's what it is, it's P-U-S-S-Y. You can't even talk trash anymore. And, 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 get, and, and Rodgers is also, remember, We've had NFL players talk trash on the field and then have to issue apologies in public. Oh, I hope I didn't hurt anyone. This has all got to stop. All this, oh God, I hope I don't hurt your feelings. It's all got to stop. Life is a rough and tumble place. Feelings are going to get hurt. If the, no pain, no gain. Pat McAfee and Aaron Rodgers, uh, with a play-by-play -play man doing Monday Night Football. Remember, Pat McAfee was trying to get in the arena for that, and maybe he's going to build a partnership with Aaron Rodgers where they're broadcasting partners together. Because, uh, again, this doesn't even think about Monday Night Football. It's like Amazon and all these other people are starting to bid for the NFL. I, I see Aaron Rodgers thinking way far down the road in terms of how do I make $15, $20 million a year as a broadcaster when my football career is over. Right, but Jason, here's what I think. He might actually be trying to start his own platform. Ownership is incredibly powerful because at the end of the day, you have no one to report to but yourself. And think about it, a lot of things he said would not fly at these legacy corporate media entities, whether it's ESPN, CNN, MSNBC. And I don't know if he fits that agenda or if he fits within those lines, he might be saying to him and Pat, Pat, why don't me and you start something, own the show, brand the show, and monetize it? And we can control our own content, much the way you have, Jason, here at The Blaze, that you decided, hey, look, uh, I've been at other networks. I've made a lot of money. I'm okay with money, but I want to take a risk. But I want to eventually be able to talk about the subjects that I want to touch upon on a daily basis. So let's be very honest, Jason. While you may have had power and influence at these other places, you never had complete autonomy in terms of subject matter. There was always limitations and restrictions on what you can say. Right there, Aaron Rodgers, for that 15, 20 minutes where you're saying those things, I'm not so sure any broadcast entity that would have been kosher. Let's just be very honest about that.